$50. So um, if you have never meditated before, um, hi, whoever's coming in. Uh, if you've never meditated before, uh, you do not have to be a monk. Uh, you will never quiet your brain 100%. So don't worry about it. Don't feel pressure. The thoughts will come in and out. Just let them, just let them be. Let them be like clouds or balloons passing and just come back to your breath. When in doubt, come back to your breath. Um, next week, I'm going to introduce kind of like really gentle mantra meditation. So it's just like a word that you can kind of say over and over in your head. So um, for today, though, because Gabby is so brilliant, we're going to meditate on gratitude for a few minutes um, before we go on to the next topic. So um, I'm going to put on the music and we'll see. Um, can you hear that at all? A little bit. Okay, well, it'll just be in the background and we'll just, hopefully it's not annoying. <laughs> okay, so wherever you are, sit up nice and tall if you can. Roll your shoulders down and back. So you wanna keep your neck as long as possible, like we talked about, really good posture. So like the string pulling it up. Hi, Ray, good morning. So roll your shoulders down and back. Go ahead and close your eyes. And we're going to breathe into our belly. So we're gonna fill our, we're gonna inhale through our nose, fill our belly up with air, let it expand out. And then the air also continues up to rise in our chests. And then on the exhale, it's out of the mouth. Ha, make some noise or just some breath coming out. And your belly contracts and your chest falls. So one more, inhale in through the nose, filling up with air, your belly expands, your chest rises. And on the exhale, out of the mouth, ha, your belly contracts and your chest falls. Really good, again, so if you wanna hike your shoulders up to your ears, up, 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 and then roll them down and back, just to kind of strengthen your posture a little bit. Sit up nice and tall, your core is engaged, even though we are doing some belly breathing. Relax your jaw, unfurrow your brow, release the tongue from the roof of the mouth. And again, on your next inhale, in through the nose, all the way in, filling the belly up with air and then the chest. And then we exhale out of the mouth. So three more breaths like this on your own time. In through the nose and out of the mouth. Really good. So go ahead and stay with your breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. And just think the words relax and release with every breath. So every inhale you relax, every exhale you release. Let's do a body scan. So from head to toe, gently start to kind of tune in to your physical body. So we're gonna start at the top of the head. And I want you to imagine that above you kind of suspended is this beautiful warm pool of light. It's warm liquid light and love. It's this healing, nurturing energy. 
And then I want you to start it, to feel it cascade down your body. So right at the top of your head, you feel this warm, loving light. Continuing to stay with your breath, your inhales and your exhales. And just let that warmth melt over you, cascading down, liquid light, down the top of your head, your forehead, your ears, your face, relaxing your jaw again, just more and more relaxed with every moment. And this warmth continues down your neck. So if you feel any tension here, if you want to roll your head from side to side, from one shoulder across your chest to the other shoulder, please do so. This time is for you. Let it feel good to feel good. When you're ready, bring your head back to center, sitting up nice and tall, your neck is long best as you can with your own body in this moment. And this warm liquid light continues down across your chest, your collarbones, your shoulders, down your back, upper back, chest, biceps, elbows, forearms, middle back, tummy, out your fingertips. And if you feel any tension, any tightness in your stomach, that's totally normal. That's where so many of us hold our stress, our anxiety, our worry, our concern. We hold it all inside like a big knot. So I just want you to breathe into this area right now. Really fill up with this nourishing air, this liquid love and light, and just let the warmth soften everything. Imagine a tied up knot becoming loose and unraveled. Just soften, relax, release, loosen, and just let this warmth expand you and soften everything. The light continues down your lower back, your hips. And we're all probably doing more sitting than we're used to. That's a possibility right now. So just send some loving energy to your hips, your bum, the sit bones, the crease in the top of your leg between your torso and your thighs. Just breathe into that. We can hold a lot of tension and trauma there too. So just breathe. Again, sit up as tall as you can, activating your core, just doing your best within your body, within this moment, release all judgment. You're beautiful and you're perfect exactly as you are. So just breathe and let this warmth nourish you. That liquid light continues down your thighs, the tops, the bottoms, the sides over your knees, your kneecaps, the back of your knees, your shins, your calves, your ankles, the tops of your feet, your heels and the bottom of your feet, and then out your tippy toes. Really good, everybody. So just keep breathing, coming back to your breath, filling up with air and this liquid light, this warmth, this nourishment, this healing, this expanding, this softening energy continues to flow. That warmth is there. It continues to radiate within your body, around it, through it. So just keep checking in with your body and if you feel any tension, any tightness that's still hanging on, just breathe into those spaces right now.
Otherwise, just enjoy this breath. Like you're floating in a warm bath of light. And just breathe. Inhaling and exhaling, relaxing and releasing, returning to our breath. On your next, excuse me, on your next inhale, I want you to bring your attention, keeping your eyes closed, staying in our breath and in our warmth. I want you to bring your attention to your heart center. It's right in the middle of your chest. And imagine a beautiful green glowing light. So this is your heart chakra. And as you breathe into this light, the glow of it gets brighter and brighter and warmer and warmer and bigger and bigger. And you feel your chest start to open up, your shoulders relax, your heart expands. It's very easy in times like these to feel like we need to close off and protect. And I'm here to tell you and encourage you that it might actually be the opposite. This is our time to open, to give love and to receive love. We can handle it. We have it to give. So just breathe, focusing your breath and your energy on this green, loving, brilliant, bright light. to help us grow this beautiful light. As Gabby so beautifully reminded us today, we're gonna to focus on gratitude. So right now, without thinking from this place, this openness in your heart, I want you to think of three things you're grateful for off the top of your head. It could be your internet connection, a delicious breakfast, running water, your loved ones, just three things, people, moments, experiences that come to mind. Doesn't have to be big or crazy. There's plenty to be grateful for. And as they come up, once you have the three, I want you to say silently or out loud a thank you for these things or these people.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We can be grateful for our breath. Grateful for the fact that we woke up today. Grateful for the groceries that we are able to get. Grateful that even though we can't physically be with the ones we love, we can maybe connect virtually or via text or even in our mind's eye and our hearts. We can send love, we can call them in. We can send light, we can say thank you. We can be grateful for the clean air. It's cleaner than it's been in probably decades because we're all staying home. Grateful for the birds chirping outside our window, for the sun shining, a beautiful breeze. Our favorite pen, our favorite television show, our favorite snack. We really take a moment to look around. We are rich beyond belief. So just take a few moments here and stay with this and keep running that list of gratitude. Just let things come into your mind. And with every thank you, your heart expands, your chest opens and relax, and that light gets brighter and bigger and warmer. So breathe now, take this time, and just swim in your gratitude. And breathe. With every breath and every thank you, just know that you are rooting into your own soul and your own strength, your own peace, your own joy. And from this place, you can be generous and patient and kind and loving accepting, compassionate, open, and present. This place of stillness is available to you all the time. So from this beautiful place, 
with all of your breath and your love and your gratitude existing in your heart, kind of like the Care Bear stare, if you remember, I want you to shoot that beam of energy out into the world. So your heart just opens up this light, this love, this gratitude, this expansiveness, just let it open big and bright like a spotlight, but bigger and bigger and bigger. So if you have people in your home with you, you're grateful for them or your pets or the furniture, whatever it is, send that gratitude out. And then your neighbors, people you know, people you don't, send that love, send that gratitude, send that healing energy, that support. To your friends and family members who you can't wait to see again, if we're so lucky. Send them love, send them light. Big, big, big hug from your heart. This light keeps going out, out, out. And now to the essential workers who are just being such incredible heroes right now for the rest of us, or maybe you're one of them, that are still going to work as a nurse or a doctor or a grocery clerk or a driver or a mail worker. Just send that love, send that light, send that gratitude. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for being brave. Thank you for being so courageous to just show up and do your job in such crazy times so that we may know a little ease and a little comfort and have a little normalcy and maybe even a little hope. And say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. A thank you to all your fellow artists and entertainers out there doing their part to distract or entertain or teach or just love on us through their art. The doctors and the scientists and the politicians really that are working hand in hand to try to get us through this. The wealthy people that are donating hundreds and thousands and millions of dollars where it needs to go. There are people doing good in the world right now. There are people trying to help. And I bet you're all one of them on some level, even just sending this love right now, sending this gratitude, sending this light, sending this appreciation to your fellow human. It matters. We matter, it all matters, you matter. We're here for each other, we're from love, we're here for love. We are still connected. And part of gratitude is receiving that love. Maybe you have people helping you because you're in a compromised position or limited access to things. So receive that love. If people are offering help, take it. If they're offering guidance, take it and say thank you. Receiving help is not a weakness. It's a strength. And as we take care of ourselves, as we receive that love, then we're able to replenish our wells, replenish our strength, replenish our hope, and then we can give again in whatever way we're able to do so. So from this place of love and gratitude and heart-centered focus, shining like a big, beautiful sun 
that you are just spreading that love and that light and that gratitude know that this can continue whether you're meditating or not this love and this light you can let it flood in and you can let it flood out it is endless boundless and beautiful So one more big inhale, the biggest one yet, fill up with air all the way up, top, 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 and then exhale, sighing everything out. So good. One more, just like that inhale, feeling up, 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 and then exhaling. Keep breathing, I'm sorry if you notice that I tapped out. <laughs> There's power when we come together to meditate together. So one more breath here and open your eyes whenever you're ready. I can't see anybody, but I hope people are still there and thank you so much. Uh, I'm going to open the chat again. Gretchen, you can unmute yourself if you want to 